Hi, my name is Eric, and for the Kiwi team, I'd like to give you a quick tour of Kiwi for Gmail 2.0 with G Suite. At its core, the very first thing we've done with Kiwi for Gmail is we've taken it out of the browser so it works and functions like a standalone desktop application. One of the biggest differences with Kiwi for Gmail from Gmail in the browser is that we've built multiple windowed functionality in the application in a really robust way. What you see here is us going and opening an individual email into multiple windows. You can beautifully preview those attachments in multiple windows as well with PDFs. It works really great. You can open up the calendar in a new window also, and you can just keep that open and full screen on another, another desktop while you're working with your email. Another really signature feature of Kiwi for Gmail is how we've built full, seamless, multiple account support into the application directly. We had to completely rebuild everything about the way that Gmail handles multiple accounts in the browser from scratch. You don't get signed out from your accounts. Every time you launch the application, they're all right there, and they work seamlessly even across Google Drive. Because we're outside the browser, we're able to add a lot of functionality and features that you just can't do when you're trying to serve a web page to people. This dropdown is one example of that. You see your unread account in the menu bar, click on it. You can see how that breaks down across all your accounts. And even if the main window is not open, you can click on one of these and get right to that inbox. Continuing on our multi-account, multi-windowed ease of use theme, you can also pull up a new message immediately from this dropdown just like this. On that note, one thing we're proud of is our Compose windows. They're clean, they're beautiful, color-coded to your account, and we've done three things to integrate them with your operating system that no one's ever done before with Gmail. One is, we make this work as your default email handler across your computer. So when you come across an email link like this in the browser, you click on this and it opens up immediately in its own window. Secondly, we've added global email shortcuts, which is a first for any email client on the desktop. You can be in the middle of your workflow doing something completely different from email, think that you have to send someone a message, and press a shortcut and a message will show up immediately just like this, and you can fire that off and then get right back to what you're doing. The same thing works with new calendar events. And thirdly, we've made it so that you can send files, you can send huge files, and you can even share whole folders just by right-clicking on a file and clicking send in the finder. And here that is. Here's a file, right-click on it, share, and get an instant window that shows up, pick your account, and it'll load and it'll instantly upload that file in that window and you can send it off. Now here's a file that's bigger than 25 megabytes. Normally you'd have to use Dropbox to send this, but we did a lot of work behind the scenes to make this feel just like right-clicking on an ordinary file and attaching that. It takes a lot to make this kind of interaction feel so natural with what's otherwise a web page. And here is an actual folder full of files. These are a bunch of files that we need to send off to our development team altogether. Normally you'd have to zip these up, you'd have to copy them to Dropbox, etc. With us, you just right click on it and in exactly the same way you say share. And it'll automatically zip that folder in the background, turn it into a zip file, and then open up the window and instantly start uploading it so that you can send it off. A first for email on the desktop. There are a bunch of other features that we've created with this as well. In addition to real desktop notifications that have push speed, we're able to turn off all those notifications as well for only your email. We call that the Zen switch. You turn this on and the Ingrid badge that stares at you on your dock icon, the unread count in the menu bar, all of those just go away. And then there's important only notifications, which you can turn on on a per account basis, just like you can every other type of notification. This will instantly cut out about 75% of the noise you get from email. Kiwi for Gmail is also being integrated with a lot of the top and very popular third-party Gmail plugins that add great functionality to Gmail. We recently added Boomerang, which as you can see here, is beautiful in our application and takes on a whole new life by being able to be used so seamlessly in your desktop workflow. So that's all the Gmail functionality in Kiwi for Gmail. And now here's the specific G Suite functionality that's been added in. We've added in a beautiful toolbar that gives you immediate access to Google's applications, which we have also made windowed applications within Kiwi for Gmail. We wanted to make Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, and all the rest of Google's G Suite work and feel as much like Microsoft Office on the desktop as humanly possible. We did a lot of work to extend Kiwi's functionality right into Google Docs to make those applications feel like true desktop applications within Kiwi for Gmail. Where no one wants to make a massive spreadsheet in a browser tab, now you don't have to. The sidebar also gives you other functionality like being able to open up new documents, opening the calendar, 
or getting to all of your Drive files. We've made it so that if you have Google Drive installed, you can open up any GDoc, G Sheet, or other G Suite file directly in Kiwi for Gmail in its own window. Just like if you had a Microsoft Word document or Excel document and you double clicked on those and opened them up. One of the biggest frustrations that people have with Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides is how difficult it is to go and find the files that they're using. And we wanted to make it instantly easy to be able to get back to the work that you're doing in Google Docs, just like an actual desktop application would. So now you can go into the file menu and you can say open recent documents and they're all listed right there. And notice how you don't even have to think about which account this is in because it works seamlessly across all of them. And note that we took one more step. We made it so that if you quit the application and you have Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Presentations open that you're working on, when you restart it, it will open up all those windows again, saving your workspace. While we've been focused on Docs, Sheets, and Slides, Kiwi for Gmail also works across every other G Suite application, like Google Draw or Google Forms or even Google Keep. Our hope is that taking all of Kiwi for Gmail's existing functionality and applying that to Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides and all of G Suite to make that work like a full native desktop-like application will transform the utility of actually using Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides and G Suite on the desktop.